Oh, I'm just tidying the... Not your job. Get a ventilator out. We're expecting a patient from casualty. Yes, sister. Nurse Longhurst, don't let me catch you reading papers again. Clear? Yes, sister. Doors, nurse. Let's have a fire, nurse. Uh, it sucks. Good. Have his relatives been informed? Oh, yes. Uh, his wife's outside. If you could see her later. Tube. Any improvement? He's still a bit blue. What about his blood pressure? No, 100 over 60. I see. Well, he pulled through. Dr. Miles gives him a fair chance. I'll take over here for a bit. His wife's outside. See if she's all right. Have you tried the visitor's room? Me what's happening in there? Well, there's nothing for you to worry about. Your husband is on a ventilator. Yes, but how is he? I want to know how he is. He needs time. The ventilator's helping him with his breathing, but we've got to give him time. Well, all I can do is wait then. Well, it's the first time that that I haven't been able to. Well, it makes me feel so... Well, it's out of my hands, isn't it? How would you like a nice cuppa? Hmm? A cup of tea. Oh, no, I'm not bothered. It's no trouble, really. All right, I don't mind. You hang on here, I won't be a sec. Hi, I got the sack already. Visiting. Don't let Salpas catch you. How's Bob Hubbard? He's on the ventilator. How do you know him? It's a long story. You won't believe it. Come in the kitchen. You can tell me here. You look whacked, Sandra. Yeah, I feel it. How's he doing? Not too good. Fill with that, will you? Oh, that's Sister Ashton. She's a real bitch. Two-faced and all. Tell us something new. She's on at me all day long. You should see the way she creeps around the doctors. It's all been happening at the factory this morning. Where hasn't it? Oh, there you are. How is he? He's doing very well. Still on the ventilator, but he is improving. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you've got a moment. His colour's a bit better. Thanks, Jo. What you'd like to know. Well, it's the first step anyway. You must have thought you'd be finished with all this, working with healthy people and everything. No, come on. So what are you staying for if you don't like it? I don't like her. I didn't say I didn't like the work. You wouldn't catch me in intensive care again. Everybody says that. What's the matter with it? It's all those machines and stuff. Get used to it. Well, I bye, didn't. Bye, bye, bye. That's because you didn't try. Everybody's scared in the beginning, but give it a chance and it really gets satisfying. 
You know what I, I mean. I haven't the foggiest. Well, how's everything with you then? Oh, I mean, you're doing everything for them. Stop. Bob Hubbard in me. He's so totally dependent. Who's he? You make him sound like a new baby. It's true. What are you talking about? It's her again. What? Oh, don't wait for me. Oi. You're not parents. You're doing the cooking tonight. <laughs> I missed you. How is he? Oh, a lot better now. Is Mrs. Hubbard here? Yes, she's in the visitor's room. You better come with me. I've got some news for her. Why? What's the matter? It wasn't an accident. Right. Nurse Longhurst. There's really no need to stay on if you want to go. Oh, it's all. I'd like to stay. Good. I've got something you can do for me, then. If it's nice. No, on the contrary. Well, don't keep me in suspense. I'm just debating whether I ought to ask you. Well, whatever it is, I've got to do it sometime. That's true. Can you give Mrs. Hubbard the other bit of news? He's better, but... Yes. Mrs. Hubbard, I've been looking for you. Oh? Your husband's still doing very well. Yes. He seems to have great powers of recovery. Yes. But that's not all. There is something else. Your husband will be left with burn marks. I'm afraid they're extensive. On his face as well? Yes, a little. Would you like to sit down? No, I'm all right, thank you. Just popped in to say good night. Good night. Doctor hopes to move your husband to the general ward in a day or two. Good. I thought you'd like to know. It's always a relief when they leave intensive care, isn't it? Well, good night then. doing very well and you get depressed with most people it's the other way around yeah look it's the end of the day when are you going to learn to switch on oh, shut up joe joe wait a minute i'm sorry yeah i tell you what let's go and tease dr langley about his hypochondria or tell him how pale he's looking how bloodshot his eyes are you're wicked ling 